Well, good morning. It is my honor to welcome everyone to Leavenworth as we proudly celebrate one of our own, Melissa Etheridge. As everyone knows, Melissa was born and raised in Leavenworth and is a graduate of Leavenworth High School. While Leavenworth, the first city of Kansas, has a multitude of stories of greatness. It was and is the story of pioneers who inspire us by showing us what's possible. So today we celebrate someone who has achieved international fame and who uses her stardom to give back to her hometown. Thank you, Melissa, your family, and your team for joining us today. And to start the celebration on this lovely weekend, I'd like to introduce the voice contestant and Leavenworth local, Deja Renault, to lead us in singing the national anthem. Please rise as Deja leads us in song. Oh, say, can you see? By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs burst still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the be seated. Thank you, Deja. It seems the whole town has come out today to celebrate Melissa Etheridge. That includes Mayor Jermaine Wilson, City Commissioner Nancy Bowder, Senator Jeff Pittman, City Manager Paul Kramer, Leavenworth Rotary Representative Carl Sigtenhorse, Representatives from the Leavenworth County Historical Society, Carol Ayers and Dinah Zeck, Main Street Director Debbie Deer, and numerous friends, family, businesses, and organizations. Thank you all. To begin the recognition portion of this celebration, 
please join me in welcoming Mayor Jermaine Wilson. I want to first start off thanking God for blessing us with this great weather. I am honored to be here today to celebrate this momentous and joyous occasion. It is not often we get the opportunity to be in the presence of a living legend, Melissa Ethics. Today, we are here to honor and recognize a special person, a person who loves her community, a person who gives back to her community, but most of all, a person who never forgot where she came from. Yeah. Melissa, you have inspired many people to believe in themselves. You have empowered people to be themselves. And you have encouraged each and every last one of us to not give up on your dreams and your goals. Thank you for being a great example to all of us in the Leavenworth community. You teach us it is possible to be able to turn your dreams into a reality with hard work and dedication. And so today, as a community, we want to make sure that you receive your roses while you can still smell them. So please come up. We have many organizations in this community that does great work, and they all would have loved to have been here to be able to present you with awards. But we'll be out here for another year, y'all. That's how loved you are in this community. But we have two respected organizations that are here to present you with some awards today. At this time, I'll have the Rotary Club come up. Mr. Carl. Thank you, Mayor Wilson. Good morning, I'm Carl Sigdenhorst and I represent the Rotary Club of Leavenworth. And I'm here today to formally proclaim Melissa Etheridge an honorary member of the Rotary Club of Leavenworth <laughs> and a Paul Harris Fellow. The first Rotary Club was established in Chicago in 1905. And since then, Rotary has grown into a network of over 1.4 million members with over 46,000 clubs around the world. Rotary International has many areas of emphasis, not the least is the global eradication of polio. Our club was established in 1916 and has been serving the Leavenworth community for over 107 years. Some of the projects we do include delivering meals on wheels, conducting food and medicine drives, annually providing academic college and VOTEC scholarships, supporting the area's Relay for Life campaign, cleaning 10th Avenue Park, and handing out personalized dictionaries to every third grader in the Leavenworth area. An honorary Rotary membership recognizes individuals who have distinguished themselves by meritorious service and embody Rotary ideals. Melissa Etheridge has given up her time her talent and treasure to support local, national, and worldwide causes. Rotary's motto is service above self, and I can't think of anyone who exemplifies this motto more than Melissa Etheridge. A Paul Harris Fellowship was established in 1957 to honor Rotary's founder and recognizes those who have made significant monetary contributions to the Rotary Foundation. An anonymous donor has made a donation in your name to honor the good works you continue to do and thereby designating you a Paul Harris Fellow. Congratulations on both these well-deserved honors. Thank you, Mr. Carl. 
Well, we all know that Leavenworth is known for his rich history. And Melissa Etheridge, you are part of Leavenworth history and you have made history. So it is only right that we have the Leavenworth Historical Society present you with an award as well. Well, I'm Carol Ayers and Dinah Zach here, and we're both representing the Leavenworth County Historical Society. You know, the Society's job is to preserve, collect and preserve history. And we may think of it as some distant, misty past, but actually history moves from the past through the present to the future. We think of the people that got off the steamboats and bought oxen and wagons and headed west on the Oregon Trail. They took a big risk, put their lives on the line. And the same thing for the people who stayed here, who opened businesses and built roads and homes and churches and bridges and prepared the world for which we now live in. So we stand on their shoulders, but the people of the future stand on our shoulders and are gonna largely live in the world that we have made. Each generation is present to the past generation. And we want to recognize Melissa today as one of the most famous people to grow up in Leavenworth. And, and she took a risk and took her talent out of Leavenworth and made herself famous. And in turn made us famous as her hometown. <laughs> but as, as our mayor said, she has never forgotten her roots. She, come back, she comes back and see us regularly and we so appreciate that. So on behalf of the Leavenworth County Historical Society, I would like to present a certificate honoring Melissa as a lifetime member of the society, confirming the important part of her life in our present history. Congratulations. Thank you. And Diana has a pen for you. I have a little button that we made for you from the Historical Society. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. It's so <laughs> wonderful. Much. Yes. At this time, we'll have a few remarks by my fellow city commissioner, Nancy Bowder. Well, hello, Leavenworth. So glad you all came out today to honor this wonderful woman this wonderful person in our community and who is to know that little bouncy girl that I you're about 10 years younger than me oh that were that little bouncy girl in a blue and white outfit cheering on the pioneers the pioneers are my dad's shoulders yes <laughs> who would have thought that that little girl would be the accomplished musician you are today thank you and I think it's it's all about the music isn't it it's always about the music and as a musician myself and my sons are musicians and I'm so, you know, you have made such an impact on our kids in the community. Thank you. And I'm not talking into this, I'm talking to you. So <laughs> that's all right, that's all right. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you. Um, yeah, who would have seen her producing such beautiful, expressive music and lyrics that transcend time and place? There is an old cliche that music soothes the soul. This is certainly true in a lot of ways for our children, for our elderly, for those who have dementia, that will listen to your music and remember. You know, isn't that something to think about? It's certainly true in a lot of ways and um, um, to, to, to help with mental health and other things too. And that is why we so appreciate your support and investment in the arts and our schools that you've, you've done for us and for our children, especially helping children provide children with the musical instruments to be able to participate in creating music in their lives. Thank you, Melissa. I have one more little thing I'd like to give you. A couple of t-shirts from, we just started a film festival about five years ago, and Yay. the person directing that uh, effort is standing there under the, <laughs> Tisha, I asked her if she wanted to come forward, but Tisha Swart Entwistle has put together some amazing three-day film festival every year here in Leavenworth. So we are truly becoming an arts community. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, stay up here, Nancy. 
Nancy. Stay up here, Nancy. Oh. Yep. <laughs> In life, we all have two important days. The days that you were born and the day that you will leave this earth. Pray we be with our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ. Unless you're Melissa Etheridge, then you'll have three important days. This is a special day that has been set aside specifically for you because of your accomplishments, your achievements, who you are and what you have done for this community. Today is Melissa Etheridge Day. So on behalf of the city of Leavenworth, we would like to present to you this proclamation for Melissa Etheridge Day. The city of Leavenworth recognize, my bad, <laughs> the achievement of Grammy Award winning musician and Leavenworth's own Melissa Etheridge. Melissa Etheridge was born on May 29th, May 29th, today the 27th, 29th, two days, y'all hold on to that, 1961 in Leavenworth. Uh, she started guitar lessons at the age of eight and was playing in local country music groups throughout her youth and high school years at Leavenworth High School. While in college, Melissa decided it was time to go big and head to LA to attempt a career in music, but she succeeded. Not only did Melissa make a successful career out of music, uh, she has amassed a plethora of awards, not only for her music, but for her activism regarding social and environmental issues. M Melissa Etheridge received her own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, y'all. <laughs> Through all of her accomplishments, Melissa has never forgotten Leavenworth or the people in the community who have supported her all these years. Melissa's have paved the way for those who will follow after her, Miss Deja, and proven that any dream is achievable. I, Jermaine Wilson, Mayor of the City of Leavenworth, Kansas, hereby proclaim May 27th as Melissa Ethers Day in Leavenworth. Anybody got any Kool-Aid? Anybody got any Kool-Aid? Oh so, my. Melissa, you are the key that have unlocked the doors for many people, including myself and the many other inspiring musicians. Because you are the key that have unlocked the doors for us, it is only right that we present you to the key to the city and also the Mayor's Award. <laughs> at this time, we would love for you to have the final words. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. Oh, people, my friends and family in just Leavenworth, Kansas, how in the world could I forget you? No. Growing up here was so special, and I didn't know how special it was until I left. And, and you, you, I realize the gift of community, oh, the gift of, the, well, the gift of small town, you know. It's, you, you, you know, oh, Deja, first of all, that was amazing <laughs> and wonderful. And just, and I watched you and you did so well on, on just the voice and everything. And you're just, it's just getting started and I just have to, it, tell you and anyone with big dreams because big dreams are are what it's all about you know and I have lived long enough now well to be in the historical society <laughs> and, but also um, to see that it really isn't the um, the ultimate goal that we're after it is that journey to get there because that's just delicious and look and standing here and thinking about the times I drove by here or rode by here 
and dreamed of someday, you know? And back when I used to believe that that was as big as the Statue of Liberty really is. <laughs> Until I saw it in person and it's not, it's much larger. And, and just the, the dreams, the, the Leavenworth is a place that not only allows dreams, but nurtures them. And that's the, that's the thing because by encouraging it, people would constantly ask me all, all my life, you know, I've done a few interviews and um, they would say, you know, well, what was it like growing up in Kansas, you know? And I would say every single time, my town was so supportive. There was, there was no bullying. I was different, yeah, but heck, we all were different. And we had this wonder, the wonderful spice that was all the army kids that come in every year, come and go, you know? And you'd, I'd meet people that had been around the world. And it, it really, you know, that they go to um, LHS and they, they are, are with us all. And so it allows the, the kids that grew up here to sort of see, yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole nother world. There's a place called Germany and Belgium and, and all these wonderful places that uh, I, I made friends with and that I still, as I travel the world, I meet people from Leavenworth. How do I know they're from Leavenworth? They say, can I see Missy? <laughs> they know that my name was Missy back then. So it's, it, it is such a pleasure every time I come back here. It's a pleasure to bring my family and show them. It's, uh, it has grown, but not too much. That's the beautiful part. And, and that you all are, are still s savoring the history here and, and all, the, all the different places, the architecture. And every time, you know, a, a, a storefront comes up, the places that we put in, the, the supporting of the arts, it's, it, I'm so proud and I will continue to support and do whatever I can for this town. Um, that you guys have embraced me back in the 90s when it wasn't easy, when, when uh, social uh, issues and thoughts and, and uh, uh, blaming the other and that sort of thing is, is even today very much a part of uh, you know, the, the, the social conversation. Leavenworth opens its arms to every color, every type, every walk and, and believes that if you live a good life, if you, if you put that energy forward, you are welcome here. And I will forever be proud to be a citizen and call Leavenworth, Kansas, my hometown. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are, are amazing. I've got the key to the city, so we'll start. Uh, where should we start? <laughs> Thank you, Jermaine. And you also, my fees, just, you're just fantastic. Thank you. Not yet. Oh. <laughs> we got one last surprise. Miss Deja, she's going to end it out for us. Woo! What'd you say? Happy What'd you say? to us for many, many years. Now it's time for the community to sing to you. Come on. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Miss Melissa Bridge. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. That is the end of our celebration for today. Thank you all for coming out.
Sorry for my squeals and 